We take these few moments to reflect on our advent, which means arrival or coming. We know Jesus came once and he will come again. And we desire that he would come into our lives today. This first week of Advent is a week focusing on hope. So as we prepare to receive his arrival, we do so with a thrill, much like the Christmas carol so aptly described. We first want to take a moment to stop and be still. We quiet ourselves by bringing our hearts, our minds, our spirits to Jesus. Sometimes it's helpful for us to take a deep breath in the middle of our day. We breathe out and release everything that's in our brains and inside of us. We now pray for an open heart to receive everything God has for us in this meditation. We meditate on the word because scripture instructs us to do so. We pray, Lord, we ask you would give us stilled and quiet hearts in this moment to make room for you in this season. We desire to be prepared for your appearing in our day. We now read from the scriptures, Isaiah 9, 6, and 7. For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of the increase of his government and peace. There shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Let us take a minute to reflect on these words. There shall be no end. We now reflect on hope. There shall be no end. This is what we must think of when we think of hope. I once heard, hope is the road that pulls us into the future. And this is what Isaiah is describing about Jesus' first arrival. That arrival marked the beginning of Jesus' advent into the earth and gives us the opportunity to see what he is bringing. The increase of his government his kingdom and peace. He's bringing himself as our hope, and that hope will not end. We now can have permission to hold on to hope until we see the increase of the Lord's government in its final end, which is the hope of all things being ordered in peace as the end. Our hope is Jesus will pull us into the blessed future where wonder and counsel might, everlasting family, peace, and his kingdom resolves all things unjust and unwhole and makes them into their fullest reality. As we think on hope, we imagine the fullest picture of God making all things the way he desired. And when you imagine it, there is a thrill, or as Isaiah says, a zeal, from the Lord of hosts that will stir us until we see it done. The question for us today is this, how do we get curious about responding to hope? How do we stir our hope to join in this zeal? 
how do we embrace the present future by embracing Jesus right here and right now? The wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. This is our hope. He is our hope, both now and forever.